Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham. I'm an in-home computer tutor and virus removal specialist here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm also a dual certified teacher, so I was trained to teach. And there's a big difference between knowing something and be able to teach something in a positive, comfortable environment. And I'm going to give you a very basic computer lesson today. I've been in computers since 1993, so I give very basic computer lessons. Uh, I used to specialize in senior citizens until I realized that everyone needed some kind of computer lesson whether it's a very advanced computer lesson for some kind of software or spreadsheet or maybe it's a very basic computer lesson what is this thing I'm holding in my hand it's a mouse so the big secret to giving a very basic computer lesson is to assume nothing now, with that in mind what you see in front of you is called a keyboard and somebody is going to comment and say everybody knows that no they do not okay your mom and dad grandma grandpa they might not know that someone who for some reason did not have computers in school may not know that but the nice thing about it is under the right teacher a senior citizen can learn way faster than a kid can because a good teacher can incorporate someone's life experience. So, what you see on your right hand side, if you're right handed, is called a mouse. A mouse has two buttons, a left button and a right button. So often people will say left mouse click or right mouse click. I always tell my computer tutoring students left mouse click for an action. For example, if I'm going to go browse the internet with an internet browser, in this case it's called Internet Explorer. And you can find it here because it has this little E for Explore. Uh, Microsoft also has one with an E now for Windows 10 called the Edge, but I don't need to get into that. It's still a little E so the lesson will still work well. So we click on this and I just left mouse clicked on that for the action. So now if we right mouse click we get a menu and the menu is dependent on what it is that we click on okay so for example let's get rid of this menu and I'm going to do that by clicking anywhere in a white area uh, let's I call it a white area because it's not linked or anything like that so just any blank spot that you see you can click on and now I'm also going to minimize this window so that's an action so I'm gonna left mouse click and I'm gonna minimize it with this little line that you see right up here you see where usually when you put your mouse over something it will tell you minimize or whatever so I'm gonna left mouse click on that for the action of minimizing the window when I minimize it it brings it all the way down here so that I can open it back up faster so let's take this picture over here when I right mouse click on this picture I get a different menu uh, with this menu I can set this as my desktop background I can edit it I can print it rotate it right rotate it left uh, what else uh, might be important to you cut and copy we will get into later cut means that I basically temporarily delete an object and then move it to somewhere else and copy means that I keep the object there but I also make a copy of it and it's in another place now so I'm kind of a backup fanatic so I'd rather copy than cut and some of you beginners are going to be worried about uh, what's called hard drive space that's storage space for your pictures and things like that and your files you've got plenty of it I can tell without even looking at your computer so don't worry about that uh, today's computers you're not gonna run out of space unless you download a whole lot of music and videos 
and I want you to be careful where you go to do that by the way so let's go back to here and let's left mouse click on the little E to uh, bring it up again and let's search for our first thing so let's left mouse click and let's search for oh, all right may as well do a little advertising here I guess uh, in home computer help Honolulu now I can press enter on my keyboard enter is where the return used to be on the typewriter enter means the action of action is just like a left mouse click so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna click on this magnifying glass here magnifying glasses are what you use to search for things with right so let's click on that magnifying glass and let's just kinda I'm gonna scroll down over here and this is gonna be a new way to use the mouse now this is called a scroll bar on the right hand side and if I left mouse click on this and hold it down and I move my mouse down then I can move the whole page down just like that now people that first start using a mouse their hands a little shaky and jerky uh, especially senior citizens I, I've run that I've run across that so you can also go down here to the bottom see that little arrow right there and if I left mouse click on that then that moves it down too and guess what if I hold this down and that scrolls down if I hold left mouse click and hold the the mouse uh, button down then it scrolls all the way down without me having to keep clicking it so if I do that again up here now you left mouse click anyway so I can left mouse click in the up arrow or I can just hold it down and scroll all the way up so once you learn how to use a, a mouse uh, let's say uh, uh, a mouse technique then let's say for example this one here where we left mouse click and hold the mouse down hold the hold the button down sorry and we scroll down by grabbing this scroll bar here then the same exact technique is used to highlight something okay for example um, okay this is actually one of my videos right here so let's highlight this video uh, if I start over here at the bottom right hand side uh, if I click on this it might send it over there to YouTube so I'm gonna start out here at the bottom where something is not linked if it's not linked it doesn't have what's called a hyperlink attached to it and so when I click on this then that will send me to this YouTube video starring me where I talk about my senior specialty in-home computer lessons and help but all I want to do is show you that if I left mouse click on this and just move up and down that is the same exact motion that I did with the with the scroll bar over here on the right hand side and if I hold this left mouse button down and bring it up and over now I highlight this whole thing and when you highlight something and I go and I put my mouse over it and I right mouse click now you see the copy feature again so if I wanted to copy this and put it in an email for example that's something that's a, a function of copy and then paste but we won't get into that just yet I wanted you to be aware of that and with what I'm using right now I'm using Windows 8.1 but with the lessons that I've just given you it doesn't matter what version of Windows are you using? Uh, unless you're using Windows XP, then get a hold of me so that I can get rid of that Windows XP for you because it's not safe anymore. 
And that's about it for this lesson. So I know there's going to be people commenting that, oh, that was so simple. Everybody knows this. No, they don't. Be nice to people. Anyway, that's your lesson for today. And if you would like an in-home computer lesson here on Oahu, then just get a hold of me. You can call. Or if you know how to text, you can text me at 224-1870. That's 224-1870. Yes, I'm going to be working on a video series uh, eventually. But in the meantime, enjoy these lessons. This is something that I feel like I should probably go ahead and share with people. So, aloha. And... Let's click on that. There we go. And that pauses it just like a VCR did or just like a DVD player did. That's a left mouse click. And when I move my mouse around YouTube, that's when the buttons show up. I don't like the disappearing buttons, by the way. It's people are automatically supposed to know that they're there. And people don't automatically know that they're there. Oh, if, if some places actually let programmers talk to real people, they would realize that. Just, just kidding, programmers. I do some programming, too. Anyway. Well, that's me about 30 pounds ago, by the way. So, anyway, aloha. And this is Christmas right now. So, have a very blessed Christmas. And God bless you. Look, I look forward to seeing you in part two.